Hi, how are you today, Sal? Pretty good. Okay, well, how windy is it outside? I think it's pretty windy. Okay, so today's video we're going to be looking at the um, quadcopter. We've got five inch blades on the back, and we've got how, what blades on the front, Sal? Sure. Put by one inch. What? Six inch on the front. Six inch, okay. Okay, so the reason for doing it this way is that I trialled five inch blades and six inch blades on the quadcopter and we were able to, um, it both flies equally well with them and then I wanted to test by putting five on the back and six on the front and it takes off perfectly. I'll give you a demonstration in a minute of that. Um, but we've just been flying out there and it's pretty windy, um, backwards and forwards. Did some FBV yesterday, but it's been like that for a week. Um, I'm just checking the battery. It's been on charge for an hour, and we'll just see. Can you zoom in on the? Um, can you zoom on that then on that cell? Okay. Oh, can you see that? Yep. Okay. What does it say? Can you read it? Four. Two, two. Yeah, it says all. Oh, that's one of them. So four, two, two. That's the balance. There's three cells in there. All is twelve point six. So that's fully charged. So we've got a little bit of Velcro there, which goes on there, and a little bit of Velcro that sticks on there like that. So we stick that like this, and then tie it, tie it in. Um, I've got the camera disconnected and the little red thing, so that stays off. And this little thing is the beeper for the voltage, which goes on and plugs in. And when you're flying, it'll tell you when it gets down to 11.2, which is just below, just below storage level. It's got three little lights, and they change one, two, three when it goes to that. I've tied this up with a bit of string um, on here, and uh, that's just to hold it. Here's the aerial, and that's the camera at the front. So to get this going. First of all, we turn this on. And as you can see, it's got quad on there. And once we've done that, we um, then plug it in. Now you're supposed to leave that sitting there quietly, um, and that then sets. Now to arm this, um, what we do is we push it across like that, and then let it go. And so it then is armed. And as you can see, um, the nase board inside it, allows it to, to take off. So there you go. So shall we fly it outside or shall we um, just leave the video at that? We'll leave the video at that, it seems a bit windy. Okay, what I'm going to do once we pause this is I'm just going to go to the pen and paper and just look at the, um, the reasons for putting 6 inch on the front. And as you can see, if you look at it this way, um, it looks different than if you look at it this way with regards to the blades on the back. And so it's wider by an inch either side and so you've got that and then you've got that there. So any questions just put comments and if you're new to the channel just subscribe and that helps you keep up to date with that. So we're going to cross to the bench now and have a look at some of the mathematics on the difference between a 5 inch blade and a 6 inch blade. Any, um, anything you want to say Sal? Okay, he's shaking his head. Okay, we'll cross over to the paper now. Thank you, Sal. Right, here we are at the bench, and um, we've looked at um, five inch blades before, and we've used the um, formula pi r squared, um, which gives you the um, area, and pi d, which gives you the circumference. Um, and then the six inch blade, which is um, the same uh, mathematics. And we found that that last inch on a six inch blade um, gives you an extra 100% uh, more lift or more power than this one over here. So what we are looking at is if you have a quadcopter with two uh, six inch blades and that's on the front and then a five inch blade on the back, what is the benefits uh, in a quadcopter circumstance for having that set up? Now, I've talked to some experts on this and they don't agree to the reasons um, why um, it's like that. 
So, first of all, when a um, quadcopter is flying uh, in a forward position, going, for example, this way, um, the quadcopter is shaped that angle as it goes through the air. And having six inch blades at the front and five inch at the back, it means that um, going into heavy winds, um, because you've got a hundred percent more lift power with the, the engines here, that can then straighten itself up. Um, and I've noticed that when I've been flying it, that it's very easy to, to go parallel or then to stop. Um, so that's one thing I would suggest is the braking aspect of flying fast and then um, stopping with 6 inch on the front and 5 inch on the back. I'd be interested to know if anyone else flies like this um, and what they've uh, found. So just leave comments if you have done that uh, in the comments department. Um, the other thing is I found that the naze board lifts and takes off, maneuvers sideways, no problems. It doesn't seem to have any effect on that. Um, but I did find when I had 6 inch all the way around that the alarm for the battery would go off when I was lifting some heavy things. We've lifted 5 noodles before and we've lifted an AXN off the ground with the quadcopter. Um, we'll get to those videos um, for, this, um, for this channel later on, lifting a quadcopter. Uh, as well and showing you the rescue attempts that we've been underway preparing for. So when we had six inch blades what happened was the alarm went off because the engine was drawing more current uh, than it could to lift those things uh, but we never found the alarm going off with the five inch blades and that's possibly because it's got a hundred percent more uh, power and so the motors in a sense uh, are pushed to their limits whereas with the five inch blades we've got plenty of um, rotational speed with a a three cell battery and it's doing about 2300 per volt um, and so with these ones it really pushes the limits of the actual system however when you have five inch on the back and six inch you're limited to the weakest powered ones which is the five inch here and so when you're going forward the downward force is pointing this way down as you're flying through the air that way and so you need more power at the front so when you want to accelerate it you can easily lift up to stop um, so that's going to be interesting for the racing fraternity. It's wider, um, so that's probably one downfall for racing it. However, it's going to be interesting to see if you need more power up front than you do at the back as you're going forward. So um, it, this is just an opening video. We'll see what people have to say in the comments. Any experiments you have, uh, we'll get into that. Okay, thanks very much.